Guy, Sherry, at least with the temperatures we're getting this week, we know it's bound to change at some point, right? But with gas prices, there's no telling when that's going to go back down. I spoke with uh, Bessemer and Birmingham Fire Departments to see how it's hitting them. The emergency calls don't stop for Bessemer's Fire Department, no matter how high the gas prices are right now. Because we didn't exceed the 75,000 last year, so, but we got, you know, we got pretty close. Chief Randall McFarlane Jr. has $75,000 budgeted just for gas, but with diesel at almost $6 a gallon, swiping their fuel cards at a nearby gas station is not easy. If it gets any worse than what it is or we see how it's affecting the budget, we'll probably have to make those same, put those same contingencies in place this time. That means limiting how firefighters move throughout the city when not on an emergency call. Our guys uh, out there on our, on our apparatus, they could move around pretty much at, at their leisure if they want to go get lunch or, you know, want, want to go to the gym. Add that to battling brutal temperatures. It's literally based on the amount of physical exertion that they're under. Battalion Chief Sebastian Carrillo says Birmingham's firefighters have to do more than just drink a lot of water in weather that feels like 105 degrees. We put our personnel in the back of that ambulance, turn the air conditioning on and allow them to cool down and rehydrate before we put them back to work. The work continues for McFarland too. After finding out he's got $9,000 left in his fuel budget, that may not be enough to last. The fiscal year budget ends in September. Okay, guys, you know we're about to bust our budget, so let's let's pull back and see, you know, if we could save something on the back end of, the, of this fiscal year because it's so late in the, in the game right now. Now McFarland plans to tell all firefighters there will have to be some changes up soon. Now this also includes too, he tells me in the meantime, this will not impact emergency services to the community. He says he may just have to move money around uh, to work with their fuel budget. Live in Bessemer, I'm Magdala Lusant, WB 1013.